What's up, Melbourne? What's up, Melbourne? What's up, Melbourne? What's up, Melbourne? What's good, Montverde? Hey, my fellow Montverdians. I'm Hannah Crumblish, and welcome to another episode of MBA Today. And I'm Christina Jordan. Hannah, I was wondering, do you have a special talent? Well, um, I'm not really sure, but I can try and sing for you. Well, let's hear it. Baby, you're a firework. Come and show me what you want. Make it go. Well, anyways, with this year's talent show being around the corner, it gives students a chance to showcase all of their special talents. We took a moment to catch up with Mr. Connolly. Let's take a look at what he has to say. The talent show this year is going to be March 24th, it's a Tuesday night, and we're putting it in the month of March, which is the Music in Our Schools month. So we want to make a really great concert this year. We're hoping to amp it up, a lot more music than we've had before, singers, um, piano players, instrumentalists, we'd love to have a band or two. Uh, we're also, of course, always looking for dancers or anybody else who does any kind of talent, but because it's Music in Our Schools month, music is optimal. And um, the auditions for that will be February 9th, which is this coming Monday. So anybody who would like to audition needs to see Mr. Bengal. He's downstairs in the Media and Performing Arts Building in the band room. See him right away, schedule an audition. Make sure when you come to the auditions that you're well prepared. The music should be memorized. It's like you're ready to walk on stage and perform it right at that minute in front of an audience. For the talent show, just make sure you're prepared. That's what we're really looking for this year. The best talent that Montverde has to offer. Another big audition we have coming up, though, is for the conservatory. Our spring auditions are going to be Saturday, April 25th, and they're scheduled all morning long from 9 to 3 o'clock. So anybody who would like to audition for those needs to contact any teacher, uh, any faculty member of the Music Conservatory. We have myself, Mr. Bengal, Ms. Green, or Ms. Mincy. You can also go on to the Montford.org site and you will see how to audition, what you need to audition, but probably the easiest thing is just come to talk one of us and we'll tell you what you need to know. Thanks, Mr. Connolly. Starting this month is the Music in Our Schools program that promotes musical enjoyment that gives students a chance to talk about their favorite songs and which genre they enjoy the most. We went to Marnie Doyle to find out more about this intriguing month. Music in Our Schools Month, it doesn't necessarily have to mean just musicians, such as those who are in Triumph. We're trying to get all of Montverde, ex well, I mean, we already know that we're excited about the music from our countries and the music that we listen to on the radio. And we're trying to get them to enjoy, to see what makes their music and from their country and that they hear on the radio and what they like unique and how we all share that similar love of music and how we can all kind of spread the joy of music by finding those similarities. Well, um, members of Tri-M will be going out there hopefully having concerts and little events and hopefully doing things to just encourage musical enjoyment and um, you can come and see any Tri-M member me or Iris is, um, or just anyone really who's in Tri-M. You'll know every Friday they're not at club time so you might notice that but uh, yeah, just come up to any of us and just ask us about it. Hopefully we'll definitely be having a performance on NBA Today. We don't know who yet. It'll all be a surprise. Maybe it'll be a collaboration. It's up in the air, but um, just let us know what you want to hear. And hopefully in these coming months and, we can, and weeks, hopefully in these coming weeks, we can celebrate music and just spread the love for music. What a musical experience. That's a nice link you got there. Speaking of music, students around the campus have some sweet dance moves. Let's take a look. What's up, Mount Verde? It's your boy Noah, a man on the street. What's up, Ty? Um, you know, every year there's always some new dance moves coming out. I just want to know if you guys, I mean, if you would show us some of your dance moves. Oh, you want to see some of my dance yeah. moves? Right. Low ladies. Oh, uh, what do you mean? I didn't even ask you guys yet. Hello, Montverde. Hello, people. Hello, good people. What's your name? Blake. What's your name? Chloe. Caitlin. Eden. James. <laughs> Emily. James. So you know, every every you know every year a new dance move comes out. I want to know if you guys would show, like to show me some of your moves. <laughs> I don't dance. Hello, sir. What's your name? Nicholas. Nicholas, you know, every year there's a couple new dance moves that come out, you know. I just want to know if you'd like to show me some of your moves. 
Oh, kill on. Oh. Hello, what's your name? My name is Mario Mendez. I'm a graduate from 2014, Montverde. So, uh, alumni, what's up? Yeah, what's up? You know, every year there's always new dance moves that come out. And I wonder if you'd like to show me some of your moves. All right, all right. What, do you got any music or anything like that? No. no you got a freestyle. I got a freestyle. Yeah. All right, you gonna dance with me though? All right. All right, dance. Oh, wait, 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 break it down. Hey. Yes, okay, yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. Oh, so that's it? Oh, okay, all right. Bruh, they killed it. I know. The past two weeks have been a busy time on campus. The groundbreaking of the new upper school building was recently celebrated. The students and faculty were on hand at the event alongside Dr. Kesslerling and the boards of trustees. This state-of-the-art facility will have the entire upper, upper school and is scheduled to be open this fall. That's exciting. I can't wait to see the new McKenzie building. And now it's time for sports. What's happening, NBA? It's your boy Dre with the sports. And I'm Morgan. Congratulations to the boys varsity basketball team for winning one of the biggest tournaments in the country, also known as Mate this past weekend. It was an exciting game and everyone played really well. The final score of the championship game was 67 to 57 against TFA of Orlando. Also, a special shout out to Ben Simmons. Congrats for winning the MVP of the tournament. Great job, boys. How does it feel to win MVP your senior year? I'm thankful. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it feels good. I'm just happy. This is my senior year, so it's my last home game. I'm just happy that we could come out and win. How does it feel to win another mate? I'm thankful. <laughs> it's great. I mean, it's, everyone's here, the whole school is here, so I'm just happy that we got the win, and, you know, it's great having everyone support. In other basketball news, make sure to come support the Purple Prep team tonight at 5 in the Nest. The Gold Prep team plays tomorrow night at 5 as well, with the boys JV and Prep team Purple playing at 3 and 7 tomorrow too. Moving on to softball, this past weekend, the girls played in the NBA preseason classic. They did very well and won both games. The boys baseball team plays Lake Mineola tomorrow at Olympia High School at 4 o'clock. Good luck, guys. Also, a great job to all of the varsity tennis team in their first home match against Mount Dora Bible yesterday. So, Morgan, what did you think about the performance by yours truly, the Dr. Dre and King Kool? It was definitely entertaining, that's for sure. But I would never be able to go up in front of everyone and do that. So, I give you two props. It was awesome. Thanks, we definitely were amped. It was a great experience. Before we sign off, we want to wish all of the teams playing this season good luck. This, this is, is NBA, NBA the, the Sports way. way. Thanks, guys. And now let's look at some of the after-school activities you may not know about. Here at Montverde, we have a long list of after-school activities. Here's some of our favorites. There's basketball, golf, tennis, taekwondo, soccer, equestrian, theater production, swimming, general fitness, and powerlifting. And I heard there's a new activity with Dr. Sington coming soon. They all sound pretty interesting. Now for a quick desk mention. Students, don't forget there's an ACT on Saturday, February 7th. Thanks, Hannah. Well, that wraps it up for this week's NBA Today Show. For <coughs> myself and everyone in the TV studio broadcasting course in the Stevens Media Arts Building, I'm <coughs> Christina Jordan. And I'm the one and only Hannah Crumbs. See, See you later, Montverdians. Mont